everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we're back with a review for magic fly so magic fly contacted me and asked me if i would be willing to show a couple of their art products on the channel and of course you guys know miss coffee does all the things so i was like sure okay bring them on over so they had me pick out two items that i thought you guys might be interested in so let's get them out of the box shall we i hope you're all having a wonderful wonderful day so let's get this out of the box here you can see it says Magic Fly slogan, everyone is an artist. Art is, you know, subjective, so. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this, because I think this might interest you because you don't necessarily have to be an artist to appreciate this one. So I'm gonna pull this out of the box. <gasps> Ooh, look at there. Came out of the box. And the price for this will go up on the screen. I will link it from Amazon and their website if they have the website up. Um, so yeah, so what is this? This is, let's see if I can open it. So if you look on the back here, there's a lock. You unlock it. It's a drafting table, wah, 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 wah. Look at that. So, you can bring it, oh, I'm sorry, you see my tripod thing there. So it says Magic Fly on it, which is really cool. It does have different levels that you can put it at to raise it up. So those little notches are the different levels that this part here that springs up will uh, sit into to make it sit up for you guys. This would be great not only for artists, but for diamond painters as well, because you guys already know, and I'm gonna use the painting that I just finished, you can put that up there. And the thing I like most is this little Magic Fly uh, holder right here. And I don't have a big workspace, so this is perfect size. It's about the size of an 11 by 12, maybe 11 by 14. And uh, again, that info will pop up and I will have it in the description box. Also, do keep in mind that if I link it from my Amazon, because I am an Amazon influencer, I will make a small commission. So I thank you in advance if you try to you, you take advantage of the link. Um, but yeah, I like this little thing at the bottom here that keeps it, you know, intact. I can diamond paint sitting up now, and I don't have to worry about anything. So I'm just, again, you're looking at my thing or doodle. But I can have it sitting up at me and diamond paint. So for those diamond painters that are looking for a small something because you don't have a lot of space, this might be something for you. If you have an artist in your life that likes to paint, this might also be something that interests you. Um, so let's take a closer look at it. So we're going to get rid of this diamond painting. Has this little clip here on the side that clips so you can clip your project into. These here are called canvas panels, which is, you guys have seen me use these for the shop and on the channel making signs. So uh, because these are what... Uh, these are just like regular artist panels or canvases, except for they're flat. So then what you can do is, I'm going to get rid of that plastic. You can take this. I'm going to turn this that way so you can see it. You can put it on here like this, where you have that part open, where you can see what you're doing and kind of rest your hand there. Or you can close it up to keep that in its place so that when you're painting, it doesn't move. I really, really like this part of it. Uh, even if I just use it for my, my drawing and stuff, that part's super cool. So it also, like I said, it has a lock on the back. because This is portable, which might be something people are interested in. So again, you just lock and unlock this back part to bring that part open. It does have a leather handle here, which is really nicely made, very sturdy. Um, and that's for if you want to say, you know, take your easel on the go, you can just pick it up and go with it. Um, so it is portable. And we can look down at it again. So we're gonna oh, widen you out a little bit, not too wide. There we go. So then on the sides here, if you look on the sides, there's more locks. That will unlock the drawer that it has. It does have an artist palette in it. It also does have, uh, it has the wood palette and it also has the plastic um, 
palette where you can add your paints into and use it for painting. It does have three drawer compartments in the, the easel. And it does come out really easily, but you know, I wouldn't know why you would want to keep it out. It makes it flat. This is something that can be easily stored away. Even if you don't use this for, you know, painting, you can put diamonds in there. You can also put this in there to keep everything nice and flat for whenever you're traveling. You just obviously had to cover that hole. So like if you were to put like diamonds or something on the side here, you would just put that in there like this, close it up, lock it, boom. It's not coming out. It's really nice and safe in there. So yes, absolutely love this. The wood feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I'm going to splinter or anything if I touch it. Um, it's, it seems like really, really good quality. It does have the rubber stoppers on the back so that it does not slide, which is good. Has that flat panel. This is the bottom of that drawer that pulls out. So this on their website will cost that much. Cause again, I'm gonna have stuff pop up at you. And then again, it came with four of these, which if you do not paint, you can use these for drawing on or, you know, what have you, you can put them away for something else. But usually I use these for like my Cricut crafts and stuff. So if you do another form of art, these might be helpful to you. And I do have like paints and stuff that I've gotten from Arteza. So I can easily use them for painting if I want to. So what is the last thing they sent me? This other thing that they sent me. Y'all, I'm really liking that easel. So this is a set of their oil color pencils. Now, color pencils come in different um, types. You have wax and you have oil are two of the main types that are known into the adult colorist or artist world. So this is the Magic Fly, which I'm, I'm hoping I'm not calling it Art and Fly or something. But this is the Magic Fly 72 color pencils. So if we take a look, it gives you the light fast underneath with those, those um, plus symbols. Gives you more information here at the top. All of its features. Pre-sharpened, pre premium pigments, professional grade art quality, break resistant, soft, strong, three millimeter cores, sturdy, comfortable barrels. I've had Magic Flies in the past, I believe, and they actually were pretty good quality. So let's get into these. I really like the container. And it tells you at the top, three millimeter break resistant lead. Because oil pencils are a little bit different, so you have to handle them a little bit differently than you would like a regular color pencil. So if you're really, if you if you color really harsh, you a lot of times will break. Ooh, that smell! It's that uh, new color pencil smell. It's like wood or something. But when you open this up, the tin comes off. Gives you all. I love that. I love the fact that it gives you all your colors and your light fast inside the tin. That's very helpful to me. So we're going to remove that. Look at the beauty that is those, those color pencils. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. All right. All right. So when you go in, you lift it up. And there is like little finger notch things here on the side to lift them up. So let's see how many trays of color pencils we have. We have one, which looks like reds and yellows. Then we have green, blue, and purple here. I can get it out of here. There we go. Ooh, okay, and we're on number three now. The three is the brown. You have a little bit of brown, yellow, gold, gray. I think that's blue and some more purples. I think that's the last one in there. I just want to make sure so that when I go look at these later, I'm like, oh, there's another one down in there. So I'm going to take my little hook here and... There we go. So a nice little tin for you to use to keep it stored in. And then here are your sets of the colors that they offer in this set. So again, if you have an artist in your life or adult colorist that loves to color, these might be something you're interested in. Let me see if I can find a coloring book for day. So yes, we're just going to use this. And they are pre-sharpened. Love the fact that it gives you the light fast and the colors on there. Really nice and big so you can see them. It says magic fly on them. So let's take a look, shall we?
So this is orange that we're using now. They color really smooth. There's none of that uh, juddering as if there was something wrong with the lead. And like I said, these are three millimeter core LEDs. So we're gonna see if we can blend these two together. Ooh, they blend together really nice. Now I know like Faber-Castell are some color pencils that blend really nicely together. I do have a small set of those that I was, you know, blessed with by a subscriber. So like, I do use them, but not often because like, <laughs> they're such good quality. I don't want them to like, I don't want to waste away with them. So between those and my Prismas and my Artezas are the ones I use the most. But as you can see, look at the blend on that. Holy mo! I did nothing. I did nothing. And it blended together so nicely. I'm going to show you again in a close-up here. So we're going to get a little bit of color down on the page here. It's so smooth. So smooth. These are a budget-friendly color pencil. I do know that. Look at the blending. Yes, I am here for it. Magic Fly, y'all have some great color pencils. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they have a bigger set. I might have to go get the bigger set. <laughs> the ones I had before, I don't remember. Like I don't remember how they how well they colored, and I can't imagine getting rid of them if they colored this well. Like, let's try two different colors now. Let's try uh, green and a blue. If I can get them out of the container here. So we're going with an Augean blue. And then we're gonna go with, say, let's go to purple. I said green, but we're gonna go with purple. We're gonna go with this violet. So these two colors here, we're just gonna shift you over this way so you can see what I'm doing. So first I'm gonna lay down this uh, violet color. Because one important thing that people look for when they color, especially if you're an adult colorist, is you're looking for that blending capability with your markers or your color pencils. So we're going to lay this down. We're just going to go halfway through there. Look at it blending. I'm not doing anything. I'm just laying it on top. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And like I said, they do uh, color very, very well. I'm just lifting you up so I don't hit you. And then we're just going to go over the top with some more of the violet. Look at that. Look at the blending power these things have. My goodness. Love the branding on them. Love the color name and the color fast on them. It even has their little dye lot numbers on them. I absolutely love this. Like, this is awesome. Uh, highly, highly recommend. I I work with a lot of color pencils, and usually you have to work a little bit hard. Like, not too hard, but you have to work hard enough to get them to blend. But these are oil pencils, so I'm guessing you don't need to get them to blend as, like, you don't have to take as much time to get them to blend. So we're going to go with this pink. It looks like a bubblegum pink. So we're just going to lay down a patch of color here. And then we're going to go in with this peony, which is another type of pink. And it just blends like butter. Like, it just blends so well. These will definitely be getting used for my adult coloring. Or even my illustrations, because I want to get better at using color pencils. I, besides my Faber-Costells, honestly, these actually are really, really good. Um, I do like oil-based color pencils better than wax pencils. I will, of course, use wax pencils, but this is amazing. Like, they just blend so nicely. Look at that. Like, those are the three swatches we did. That's amazing. And there's it's smooth. There's none of that like waxy buildup when you're burnishing. Sometimes you get that waxy buildup. There's no waxy buildup at all. Doesn't come off the page, obviously. That's a plus. Okay, now let's go for two colors that are way off from each other. So we're going to go with this orc, yellow orc and turmeric. So first we're going to lay down the darker color. 
We're going to go with the yellow orc first, which is a yellowish brown, if I remember correctly. It's like a baby squash color. That's the first thing that popped in my head just now, because I was like, did I refer that to as like baby squash? So we're going to lay that down. And then we're going to take the turmeric and go over top of it. Now take it. One's a really good yellow and one's like a brown. Okay, so these aren't like close in color. Not too close in color. And as you can see, like, it's seamless. It's seamless with the blend. That is amazing. Highly, highly recommend if you have not tried Magic Fly to give them a try. This is awesome. Like, I don't want to stop coloring now. So we're going to try to find one more. We're going to do one more. So we're going to do a purple. I'm trying to find two colors that like are nowhere near each other in color. So let's do this dark purple and then this pink. So we have amethyst, which is one of my favorite colors. And we have fuchsia. Okay. Colors are so different. So we're going to go down with a dark color first. Get some of that down. They glide so smoothly. Oh my gosh. So for those folks that have trouble with blending, these might be a budget-friendly way for you to get better with blending. Like, shut the front door right now. Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. I could use these all day. Look at the blend. Again, 
I, I would highly recommend them. Again, they're oil-based, not wax-based. And they work really, really nice. I love how they color. They're very smooth. And I am going to complete a coloring page. And I'm going to try to put it at the end of this video. Um, so you can, guys can see it. Like, I'm, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Because I know these are budget-friendly uh, color pencils. So, highly, highly impressed. Would definitely say give them a try. And how I know they're oil-based is because it does say on their website, it does let you know that they are oil-based and not wax-based. I'm not sure if it says it on here or not. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you were to scan that QR code, but feel free to do so. Um, yeah, like, these are amazing. I absolutely love them. Magic Fly, you're doing your thing over there, and I am here for it. So, again, they sent us out this adorable little easel to work on. Now, obviously, if you have, like, a big something, it might not be this the most, you know, efficient thing to use, but for projects that are like 50 by 40 or smaller, where you're just looking at small sections or whatever, this might be something perfect for you. Again, it adjusts to whatever level you need it to adjust to. Whenever you're not using it, you can lock it so you can take it because it's portable. So if you're going on like a road trip or something, it does have a little drawer that you can access with three little slots in it. It also comes with, uh, the painter's palettes in there so you have the wood one and you also have the uh there we go you have the wood one and you also have the plastic one the drawer does come out nice and easy and then it also has its own lock over here on the side so that you can lock it shut nice handle it almost reminds me of a chessboard that my dad has but there's your lock for the back there to keep the top part easel not going. This part does not flap easily. It's on a hinge, but it doesn't flap over easily. As you can see, it's not falling down. But it is very effective for, like, if you want to put, like, your color pencils right there while you're waiting to uh, work on something or what have you, you can. Absolutely love this. Would highly, highly recommend two big old thumbs up from Miss Coffee. You guys, look, I might have to go take a closer look at the Magic Fly website over on Amazon. Um, again, I will link the Amazon links, and if they have an actual website, I will link them both down in the description box below. So you can tell me what you think of these products. Have you ever used them? If you have, what has been your experience? But with that said, my experience has been great. I absolutely love them. Uh, they did come from Amazon because they came super quick. I got them within like a couple of days after talking to the representative over at Magic Fly. So thank you to the folks over at Magic Fly for allowing me to show this. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, I must get out of here and bid you adieu because I want to go play with this, this easel board. But not before I remind you, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.